In this tutorial, I want to talk about how do you go about building a larger scale project like uh, the Ludus that I have some students building in some of my projects. So you may have already started a scene where you're testing out um, examples. So what you can do is you can kind of go through at any time you can select stuff inside the map and delete it. All right. What I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to take my floor piece and just drag it into the world. I'm going to make sure my grid's at 100. I'm going to zero this piece out. All right, let's take them. Let's just move them over a little bit to the side here. Okay, so here's my basic piece. And I'm going to do edit, copy, edit, paste. And then I'm going to select a door piece and override it over here under the static mesh. All right, so there's where a basic door piece goes. So then if I do the same thing, I'm going to do control C and control V on my keyboard to copy and paste that wall piece. And then I'm going to override that with a intersection, uh, the three way intersection. I'm going to rotate it around and move it over. All right. So now if I take these pieces, I'm going to select them all and hold alt and just drag them over to the side here. I'm going to take this piece here and override it with the regular wall. Take the piece in the back. I'm going to override that with the straight hallway piece and then just rotate him. So he's facing the same way as the three way intersection. There we go. So I can take these three and just drag them over. So this is kind of the basic construction of how you can start off now. You do see that you have some flickering here from the Z fighting. I can go ahead and select my door frame. And if I again, just control C, control V to copy and paste this piece into the same location. See, I've moved them. You can see it's exactly the same piece in the same location. I'm just gonna override him with this frame now. I also like to have the frame pieces in between my different corridor sections. So I'm just gonna Move these over. Anytime you see me duplicating one like that, it's because I'm holding Alt when I clone them. Let's take our floor pieces and I'm going to clone those up. Now, depending on how thick you made your floor, if you followed my tutorial, then you made it 40 units. So we can drag that up and I'll set this to 100. And then I'm just going to move them back because this is how we start building our balconies. All right. Same thing. Control C, Control V to copy and paste, and then I'm just going to put, in this case, I'm going to put a two story wall behind them. Now, over here, I could take these floor pieces again and Control C, Control V to copy and paste, and then I'm just going to put the edge in and then drag him over. Okay? There's my edge piece. He's sitting right there. I can take these pieces again, and let's Actually, instead of having the two-story wall, let's go ahead and put the one-story. And I'll take these walls and control C, control V to copy and paste, drop some arches in, so you get a little bit more decorative back there. And now I can take those arches, I can take the walls behind them, the floors, the edges, if I hold Alt, I can move them all up to create my second balcony. And then you gotta remember, you're still Z fighting because you're still intersecting at the same spot. So you gotta set it to 10 and you'll drag that up, that 40 units, okay? So this is how we start going through and building those. Uh, to get the top floor, I would select these three pieces Hold Alt and drag them up. You'll notice I'm still on 10. And that's because I, I do know that they can sit right up here at the top. But that's uh, basically it. The one piece that I'm missing right here, I don't have a column piece. You would place the column piece at the intersections. But that's the basic process that you go through uh, to start building out your level. All right? From here, you could go through, and if you wanted, you could turn this into a regular wall piece and then do the old copy and paste and put a maybe put a straight hallway there. Let's set this to 100. 
and then you kind of push in back. All right, so you got a straight hallway. Uh, you can end up putting a, let's do, put another door frame there. And I can drag another one to sit right in here. Okay. So that's the basic process of going through and, and starting to build this up, right? So uh, from there, you would go through and you start fleshing out your environment by continuing this process. You could take all these chunks and move them around. It is possible, I'm going to click out here in the sky and hit H to hide it. Once you do have your basic layout, you could, I've gone out into the quad view. You could region select and then just hold alt and drag all those. You see how easy it is to easily begin replicating everything. Um, there you go. So now I've gotten this whole environment that I started to build out. You can see I got all these different pieces I placed. I would just need to take like my door frames and you know continue replicating those in between my various sections uh, in order to get them to pop in there to the appropriate spot. And then I could just do Control H to hide or right click and say visibility, show all actors, and then the sky would come back. All right. So that's the basic process for starting to build out a level.